Morning guys, I'm Dave Canterbury with self Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School. And what I'd like to show you this morning is just a real quick tip or trick that will help you get a finer finish to some of your wood carving projects without requiring sandpaper. It's something that you can carry very easily in your kit. It doesn't take up a lot of room and can be easily modified to do exactly the task you want it to do. So I've got this spatula and this serving spoon that I've been working on for a couple, three days. And you're getting ready to start finishing them up. They're getting dry now and there's still some tool marks left in them here and there in this bowl and a couple places in this spatula where it was green wood that I just cut down and the green was raising. And one of the best kept secrets in making tools like this is a finishing tool called a cabinet scraper. And this one was square when I bought it. It fit in the sleeve just like this. And I just radiused it on a sanding belt so that I could get inside the radius and turns with it. It's very light and compact. They don't cost very much money. This one happens to be a Baco. You can buy off brands as well. And you can even buy them that are already pre-shaped. I just bought a square one and shaped it myself. And it does a really, really good job of finishing work. If you've got places like this where you've got a few tool marks and something that you want to get out of it, you can just lock that thing into a vise Get that cabinet scraper in your hand and run it over the top of those tool marks and it will remove very, very fine shavings of wood, very much like a 90 degree spine on the back of your knife would do if you were creating tinder. Except this one has a little bit more versatility because you can curve it to make it do whatever you want and it gives you a really really nice fine finish and you just have to kind of watch the grain direction just like any other tool and you can come down and get rid of all of those tool marks that you have very very easily and it will give you a nice smooth finish without having to use sandpaper if you choose to do it that way. And it works the same way inside a bowl, like the bowl and the serving spoon. I've got some tool marks inside here, and I can just choose which radius I want to use, get inside that bowl. And scrape all the tool marks right out of that bowl really, really easily. give myself just a beautiful finish in there really really easily Folks, I'm Dave Canterbury with the Pathfinder School of self Reliance Outfitters. I appreciate you joining me here today for this quick tip or trick. I thank you for your views. I thank you for your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, and for our business. All of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys. Thank you.